going to be settled with my dozen apple cider do donuts. We're down to eight. Look what this fool, this, this guy brought in from Maryland. A award winning uh, cupcake wars. What's the company? It's called Flavor? Flavor. Right. Cupcakery. Bel Air, Maryland, right here. And I'm killing. Oh, don't! I almost lost my what cupcakes. Almost and made Chuck, us. Almost Chuck, made us curse in the he's video. He's trying to outdo. Oh, me out there, they're really good. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh! I think that cupcake is you. Which one? Look at the flashy one. The oh, glitter yeah. one. That's your personality. Uh, I thought you were talking about the fact that they're all kind of round. Oh. <laughs> no, this one's me. Flaky. This one here. Well, now that you put your fingers in it, yeah. It's well, I'm going to try one bite, and then you can have the rest. Oh, good. Actually, why don't you take a bite out of, like, each oh, one? Oh, gosh. Wow. That was a big bite. What's the verdict? It's as light as a feather. It is like a mousse. Hey. Mousse? Hey? Very light. Wow. Not heavy at all. It's really good. Mm. It's a good start. What flavor? Is it just a mousse? Yes. Yeah, the, it's raspberry, okay. but the um, it's vanilla. Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, raspberry. Now, now we'll try the next. <laughs> the, the raspberries taste like, like raspberries. <laughs> the schnozberries <laughs> taste like schnozberries. <laughs> you boys. Everything is eatable. I mean, edible. <laughs> edible. Do you hear? Do you hear this? Now this this guy is here to pick up that piece of that incredibly great mechanical pinball. Now I think we should go back. He I stuck him. I, I sold him the Shrek pinball, and then we also overhauled. No, we got it fixed. The um, chop lifter. I had to think for a minute there, and everybody thought he was a loser and wasn't going to buy anything, but he wasn't. And he drove here from Bel Air, Maryland, which was two hours, to pick up top score. That's it. Yes. I'm sitting here rattling through my head. Actually we works. This thing actually works great. And uh, it's an oddball piece for sure. But we're going to go, let's go back and see it. Well, here it is. The top score. See, they were supposed to put the word the, but they couldn't squeeze it into the artwork. So I just tell people it's the top score. That programs it. See, it's loading. And it's done. And now you're playing, baby. No! No, I lost them both. Get your balls. Actually, I think it had to be down to reset the balls. I think when you roll through a lane, it lights Mr. Ball. Oh. Wow, I got three. That's the mystery bonus. I got three kicks. I never learned the rules. I mean, it, 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 you got to admit, it's got a lot going on. Just giving me all my credit. See, now, the, I showed this last night in the live video, but there's so much back here. See all the animation stuff. So there was no room for the Jones plugs. So it uses a floating connector. A floater, I call these. That's what a number of games have used that when they implement too much stuff back here. See, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of mechanics, see? It's pretty neat stuff, isn't it? So this, this is regulating. This is actually not related to this mechanism. This is what counts the players. This is how the game knows what's going on. Not bad, huh? Make great firewood. God! Don't be mean. And we've got to get this boy loaded and out of here. Kurt and I are doing a rental. Uh, you know, here's something interesting. Look. The shooter rod is blue. Hmm. I figured it to be black. But anyway, top score is now 
going to a new happy home next to the Shrek. That's right. The game of the future. Okay. Curdy started working on the flippers on the stars. And we wanted to point you out this wonderful repair. Now, this is probably what happened. He was in his house and the wire broke. So he found the only available wire he could find. And it is the 300 ohm antenna wire. And he obviously cut it off the family antenna on his television set. Is what he said. And then later at night, channel six doesn't work. Channel ten doesn't uh, work. But, uh, What's going oh, on? Oh, but it fixed the flipper. Curtis, please. I love it. Championship sprint. This is the one that we sold uh, as is. It got traded back in, and we did a full restore on it. Look at this picture. Beautiful. Super clear, perfect condition. It's beautiful. We put new red T molding on one side and blue on the other. Uh, we have brand new side art on both sides. The cabinet was bonded and repaired. Of course, we have four new footies. We also put new power supply and capacitors in the bottom. The usual stuff we do. And it's ready to go and it's beautiful. I think they're going to have a lot of fun, won't you? Red car. Yeah, that, that would help. Beautiful Hydra for the price, $400, our bargain basement. Got a gorgeous picture. Plays like a dream, doesn't it, Curdy? Like a dream. Like a dream? All right, press boost to start play. Look, he's loading. Go as fast as you can go. I like it. I had fun. Tee hee. Collect all the crystals. Tee hee. Good. Tee hee, tee hee. Anyway, good. Oh, wait a minute, Road, Road Kings. Road Kings is going out, isn't it? Um, put a couple fires in the back. They're burning. Game came out really nice. Lift the shooter rod and the button on the sides, and we have weight here. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a dandy. It's beautiful. So this is going to go out. And... Part of the order is of the Rogue Kings is this cruising the USA new top. Uh, we've put new lights. All the buttons have been taken apart and cleaned. Side art's beautiful. It's been touched up by our expert. And this one's on wheels, so it rolls easily. Oh, it's a honey. So this is going out too. No time to even turn the fan off. Look, Curdy, where is a good place to put the sticker? Right here. Careful, careful. You were gonna be nasty to me. Now. But look at this beautiful Adam. Let me show you the wonderful things we do. The last thing we're putting on we didn't have time to put them on tonight. I got these from Tilt Graphics. 
these beautiful side rails. We put a television in it. We put the train. And the train flashes. I think when you hit this, right, Kurt? There, can you see? See, the, uh, the headlight comes on. Isn't that neat? And the top flashes, it's dual. So that's a flasher. And the other goes on with a jackpot. It's really nice. Look, we also put these stickers on. These came with a tilt graphics kit. So these stickers here on the bookcase, so it looks very nice. Isn't it beautiful? r and I beautiful. We also put on here Adam's family um, roses here. See, on all the targets. Let's go! We lit this here. Uh, I pointed the TV out already. Yes, I did. We also lit here. And... Oh, we put Uncle Festus in. And... Or they call him Uncle Lester. And see how nice and... This is lit nice and bright. And so is this side. God, it's a honey. Um, we lit on the top. Now, I want you to look at the top. That is beautifully lit. And... Sure, what, what sets that one off, Kurt? Might be All right, let's see. Color display. This thing is a honey. And guess what? It was only eleven thousand dollars. I'm trying to get it. I'm to get it. There, there it is. See it light? That dynamite. So we have it with ice blue, and then we have super bright, bright flash. We've also lit this scoop here. Let me show you. See the scoop lights with the magnets. Isn't that nice? Aren't, aren't I nice? Well, multiple is easy. All I have to do is go up here, right, Curtis? No, I had a red light. Oh, no, the red light. That's right, that's right. You were no out. No, I, I've never played it before. I know you It's like a new game. Now you've done it. Do you know how many of these we've sold? Look up top now. It's a honey. Remember, we also our uh, welder. We actually, I think I showed earlier. Uh, we went and bought our own welder so we can weld the scoop that's always broken down here. So we'll put them on. Now that we know this is perfect, we'll top it off with a new glass. Uh, side art is gorgeous. This is the original side art, folks. The original side art. It's beautiful. Steven did a little touch up, you couldn't even tell. This is a honey. It's a keeper, Curdy. And so am I. We've been watching this in the live videos. It's finished. Artwork is pretty much perfect. Thanks to Steven. Right, Steven? Yep. New overlay yep. from arcade shops. Monitor bezel is near perfect. There's like no burn in on the television. Trackball's been rebuilt. Listen, do you hear that? That's the original Atari trackball. That's right. It's perfect. Everything I do is perfect. Everything. 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 And that's because. I am the greatest company in the world. And everything Stephen does is perfect, right? Look, when, here, here. Hey. see, you follow me. You're it's forgiven this one time. You're forgiven this one time. If I feel like I can come over to Robbie like this and I can redden his cheeks, oh, see? Man. If I want to. Can do anything I want. I can't wait till he beats the crap out of you. I want to play it. <laughs> Look. Look, here's Tall Tom. Your number one employee, Steve, said he sold a game. Am here. I bringing another place that he went over? Here, put your foot right there. I'm going to stop it. <laughs> How about it? The carbon fiber. You're going to get through that. <laughs> stop it. You're up and not that much. Oh, God. Is it done? And look who shows up out of the blue at the same time I'm doing a video. He must have a nose for this camera. Everyone. It is Darren. We just delivered 
that beautiful centipede you just saw a few minutes ago. That's right, right before this one. Mm -hmm. And he came here to pick up locks. Curdy, can you get him four of our keyless locks? Look at these. Isn't this nice? Isn't that nice? You don't have to fiddle with the stupid locks. Now, this, this guy's been waiting, waiting, waiting. He's really waited. What we have here is a Stellar Wars with new drop target stickers, with clear caps, with fire uh, blue and fire red. We've added a couple strips to make it brighter because it was so dull. There's a blue strip here. Of course, we lit here between the flippers. We lit the buttons, the corners. We have towers in here. Look how these glow with our red towers. You can Four get bags. towers yeah. from... Um, where do you, you, can you get them from? Um, right out of my head. From Comet Pinball, right there. Yes. That one's bad. This was, this was, it was an effort, wasn't it, Curdy? It was an effort. Well, there's a lot of new stuff in it. Now, the customer had done some stuff to it already when he sent it to us. Somebody had put some flipper parts in it, but they didn't do everything. And we had to take a lot of stuff apart and redo it um, to do it right. They had had it for a long time. Um, uh, but now, We've changed a lot of sleeves, but wherever we could uh, to upgrade, we have an array of color LEDs here. Isn't that nice? Now, somebody had already put the coils and then the stroke switches in. So we just checked it, and they put... Now, this was rather interesting, and it works. They put a plunger link in. It's not the original one, but it does seem to work fine. And new... Uh, parts. So did that work to it, but they missed so many other things, including, of course, um, capacitors in the soundboard. It was screaming for them. Uh, look, we did get this sticker. Isn't that nice? Sticker, Je Jeffrey Classic Arcades remakes them. Now, this is the game um, that you, ch you do the sweep sound. Hey, Kurt, what's the sweep sound on this? Did you send it? Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's 35, but I didn't know what the number is. Now you set this here. We wrote it down here. Set 35 to 30. That's the sweep sound. Right, Curdy? The sweep sound. The sweet sound? You know what the Let's sweet sound? I'll show you the sweet sound. Here is the sweet sound. Later. Uh. That's the sweet sound. I'm never going to get everything delivered in time. Sorry. I'm going to ruin go. Christmases. <laughs> I'm going to go shopping. See ya. Now listen. <laughs> That's the sweep sound. Now, this is where you use our light. Come in closer. Because you have to figure out where to pull this back. Because if you pull it all the way back and fire it up, it's going to make a loop and go right through here, and you're not going to be able to get these shots. So this is when you start using your gauge to figure out where to lob it. Because you obviously want to light those lights. So maybe you'll know if you do the first one. That'll pull it up. It would be nice, of course, to go down here and like. It's not annoying. That's why it's yeah. set. It's defaulted to off. That's more annoying. I like the top of that idea. Well, maybe we can get Stern to make a topper, an interactive topper. Can you lower it while you're talking? <coughs> can't get anything else done. <coughs> Back to your show. Sorry to bother you. Right, stellar. S. T. These 
these lights are on the GI. It's an S T E L L A R. And then up here, R, the other R, see? A R. They are never go off. They're one solid. As is the light up here in Mr. Hole that we added. See what happened when I shot it all the way? Not good, Kurt. I need the R right here. I don't need that one. I don't need this one. I need the R behind or in front of the flash. Uh, did you like that? Did you see how bright this lit? We have super bright red flash lamps. I tell you. You know, the, the tilting sound doesn't stop either when you do that. Well, <clears throat> I thought he was very tasteful in his color choices here. Back glass is extraordinarily beautiful. Now, because Stephen had to touch it up, you didn't see that, did you? You didn't see how, how much it needed. These are uh, soft. These are... Um, I am. Stephen. Oh, Stephen is. Stephen is great. Uh, we had to change the driver board. There were too many issues, but we put a row, a new row of connectors, and we also put the blocking. We put the jumpers here where the resistors used to be. It's a different logic board. Now, there were some issues with the other, so we just changed the board. Frank's battery board. This thing is bullet, 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 bulletproofed forever, including the power supply with four new capacitors. It's never going to go bad. Oh, when we cleverly, look, <coughs> marked. You'd have to be a complete fool to plug this in wrong. Right, Kurt? Yeah. A complete fool. Okay? These two you can plug in wrong. But, but once again, unless you're completely blind, you won't. Because one is black and one is white. So, he's going to be very, very happy. Pretty, isn't he? God, he's waited so long. You know what? This, look at this here, uh, Pat. That's the rubber that keeps the glass away up here on that corner. Maybe I'll, we, we see that, you know what? It's a weather stripping, I think. That's what it is. Okay. Anyway, Curdy, I want to know whether we should include the Bing card. Bing, bing. He can turn it off. So Stephen repainted some of this black. What you do? You go into the settings. See, you open up Mr. Door. You press it here. You go up to 0435. Oh, you flip the switch to go backwards. See, it's on 30. If you put it on double zero, it's off. I will let him do that. Right, Kurt? Yeah. Good. We'll do the binging. I like the binging part. That's his book, too, so we have to send that back with it. Curtie, this is ready. It is really ready. God, he's going to be so happy. We, look, we even put a high voltage sticker here when we repainted this. We'll get this out tomorrow. That would be great. It would, Curtie. It would be marvelous. Anyway. Kurt's giving me the thumbs up because he knows I'm now going to show you how well I shoot. At Disney World, we went down there on our trip, as you know. Went all the way down there, and boy, did we have fun. We went to the shooting gallery. Now you get a chance to see how well I shoot a shotgun. Let's watch. We're now on free play. He's got his gun.
good shot, wasn't I? That's right. Don't mess around me. <laughs> anyway, next we have the first of two Concord Supersonics that we sold. So here's number one that we got ready. And then, of course, we have some more stuff coming after that. So stick with us. Another stupid sign, super sign, that's going out. Uh, we put a new center overlay here in, okay, to cover up, because that's where it all wears. But we had custom supersonic targets made. Look over here, Tom. Oh, so many. It's very low. Uh, color coordinated beautifully. Purple here, orange, uh, yellow, white. Down the center, we have blood red. Shooter lane, red buttons, and look, all these were knocked out. We put 10 new rollovers in, and these are all um, color changers in the center. Isn't that neat? These are fires. Came out really nice. And we have it set up for, so if we roll the one, we spot three, and we spot automatically. Roll through five. You still have to hit two. You hit two. It opens the gate here, and you get your ball back. It's a good game. One more pop up right here. And pop up. Put a. Uh, I said pop up. Is this an extra one? The uh, washer. Yeah. All right, look at the cabinet. Stephen did an amazing job bringing this thing back to life. Didn't you, Stephen? Of course. Isn't my Stephen amazing? Mm-hmm. Yes, he is. He's my Stephen. It? It's beautiful. Was it good there or good not where it's only this far on the map? It's this far. That far on the map. Good. So we have another one of these. If anybody wants it, we have one more. We will sell it. To whoever wants one. You know what, Kurt? That three. I, I, the three. I forgot the three. Can I hold that up for a second? I will add. Alright, now lower it, baby. Baby cakes. I didn't adjust it well enough. us a bunch of things to put in. That's what little Chris is talking about. A bunch of toys. There you go. The toys were from all over the place. The pin woofer system is very nice and a baby could put it in. Rocket City Pinball sent some mods. We got mods from that Lear mod. Okay, they're, they've been doing these for years too. Oh, there's the Rocket City card. And this one is a decal. I'm not sure, uh, Jennifer, Sage USA. Yeah, I guess the decal. Anyway, we've got a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna show them to you that he sent and said, please put them in. And we did. This is an interactive um, connects right into the system with a flash lamp inside. It's actually pretty clever. This is just sitting here. There's, this doesn't light up or anything. Now, this, the, the keeper here, has that light that flickers, which is pretty sharp. Originally, that was supposed to go back here, but he bought the clock that lights up, and the, then the castle here, the, um, um, the building. So we couldn't put that there, and this was supposed to go on top of this flashlight. But we found out if we notched up at the top of the box, and we put in a bendy, we could fit it in there. Isn't that neat? 
So that worked out pretty good. This is just double-sided tape on there. Um, now, this is double-sided. He sent this, he said, where do you think you could put that? And that seemed to be the only place that would clear the glass. That went well. Now, what else? Oh, and we put the pinwolfer system in. Um, so we took some time and we had to take a little, just a little bit of disassembly. But it's uh, enhanced the performance. Originally, we were gonna put this, he just pointed this out, here. This was originally gonna go here and hold on by a magnet. And it, it was working. The problem was the magnet so strong, it was pulling the ball. And the ball would get stuck under the magnet. We had one on there. Then we were gonna put it on the back list, but I was afraid it would fall off and shatter. So uh, we're gonna give him this back. He can maybe figure something out. I also got this shooter rod here. And I got that nifty start button. And then these here with the obelisk, see? Okay, they came out. So we put one of the extra parts in here. Of course, the speakers are installed in the back. It really is something. Um, Welcome to Led Zeppelin Pinball. But the problem Communication, good time, the song play. is trampled on the foot. Rock and roll. I have to turn the bottom down. I hate doing that. You see, you can't hear, unfortunately, the subwoofer because of the copyrights. That's pretty miserable, isn't it? Anyway, they, they don't have any different versions. Of course, the gameplay is the same. But, uh, uh, but we, have to, we just can't let the sound. I just turn the volume down. Oh, and a shaker motor. We put that in. I just felt it shake. Gave it a thump there. It's a factory shaker motor that you can add. I turned very nicely, wired in everything. So then all you have to do is um, mount it. It comes with the screws. Plug it in and then get the cover on to protect fingers. Get it destroyed. You have to keep the music moving. So we get our going back. Anyway. I think it looks pretty good, actually. Let me just see. Back here. There we are. So you can see here. Let's see if we can get. You see the van light up? He watched. my food. Well, it lit up the one time, but I guess we have to air custody. And with the mounting of the drums, it kind of shakes. So <coughs> somebody's playing it. Nice. Isn't it? Now, you did notice if you open the door, <coughs> all the lights go out except this right here, see? <coughs> that is independent. There we go. So, anyway, we got it. Now, they suggest the Pinwalker Company says you should leave the sound at 14 and then adjust the volume. Here, I'll show you where it's installed. They originally wanted it here, so they give you the woofer. But he thought he might want to put his cash pan there. And we thought, this is just perfect, because you can still reach in and adjust the volume on the far right, Jonathan. Then there's bass, treble, there's other adjustments. They suggest, uh, actually, I'll show you what they suggested. It's really good because it made the most sense. Uh, the company gives you this setting here. This is what they suggest to set everything to, and we printed it right out of the Pinwolfer um, setting, and he can fiddle with it from there. Good. Jonathan, are you ready to deliver this? Yep. It's six flights of steps. Spiral. No, 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 that's not until you get to the seventh floor. Then it goes up to the clock tower. Hmm. Uh. All right, let's get this out.
Well, I thought this was the, an appropriate time, boys, making all this noise, to see two side-by-side -side cyclones. Both are in beautiful shape. They're different heights because this is on the right legs, powder-coated legs. This is finished, and boy, is it gorgeous, and with super bright LEDs. So, if you look, okay, you can see all the colors. So we've taken the red and we put two red and one blue fire. Now shift over to here. I mean, this looks fine, but nothing, nothing like this. So, quite a difference. The back box is glowing beautifully. And see, before LEDs, this is all we had. We didn't have much going on. We had this, but what a difference. So, you can see before, and after. Both of these are sold. Both. But this one, both. both. B both. O oh, yes. Did you say both? Did you say both? I did. I, you both. know what? The last step, see how this has a new LED display in? This is getting one too. So we include that in the price too. All beautiful. And this is getting shipped out soon. Uh, probably Monday. In time for Xmas. What this year? will be done. What year? The hell is he? This one, I did the video now, now he's going to start on this. So this is next to go. Now I got Star Trek. Yes, you do. In Star Trek, yeah, it's going. You have to finish this, because this is going out Saturday. High speed's going out Saturday. Okay. Well, we got this thing. We're working on this toilet. This is such a mess. There's new problems every, everywhere we look. But we're still, this is coming along. That will be done next week because we want to get all this out in time for Xmas. So this really does qualify for our sticker. Greg bought a Tomcat from us and now he's buying a high speed. And this play field is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's it polished up like new. Uh, it's beautiful. And uh, uh, <laughs> it's not even, there's not even a factory miler on it. Um, I believe it was clear coated at one point in its life. And we had to doll it up, of course, with um, the standoffs, um, the green. We took out the three red caps and we put traffic light colors in. We lit the hole here. We replaced the flash lamp system with LEDs because this used the old 63 bulbs, which were good. And it got a brand new ramp. A brand new ramp. Great, we took such good care of you. It's, it's gorgeous, look at the cabinet, it's like new. It's absolutely like new. And red lights in back. Dazzling. I don't think you're gonna find a nicer one ever. And that's because TNT is the best. Back glass is almost perfect. Actually, it just looks perfect. Look in the mirror back here. It's Don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. Wait a minute, let me I'm going to break it. Ah! I'm going to break the mirror. Break it. Cheap effect. Doesn't Shh. like that. Anyway, Greg, your game is gorgeous. There's, that, there's not a game nicer than this. This is the nicest one. We even knocked out the little rollovers up here. Pat, look. Up here. We put brand new ones in so they're super sensitive. Clear. We have a fire under both. We put a lot of money into it. You did pay a lot of money for it, but, but we put a lot of money into it. Okay? So it's going to go out tomorrow. We will be getting it, Greg. And look at what you guys missed getting.
<sighs> well, all that stuff was filmed in 2021, last year. And I figured, you know what, let's bring you right up to current events. You have been seeing this game for ages. It is now finished. Oh boy, it's finished. And Peter just went on. Cold. It's very cold here. Uh, th this, was, this was a real toilet. But not anymore. Put a lot of work into it. The man that brought it to us for an overhaul had gotten it from somebody who put a new coin door on it and he put a subwoofer in it and then he enclosed the color display but and he changed the flipper coils but there were so many rusted parts in this thing it was an absolute rust bucket we had to change so many micro switches to get it to this level of quality the back glass had all these scrapes and things in it. I found another used back glass that we had where this part was all nice. And we decided to go with it. It was certainly better than the other one. We also put brand new side art on it. So the side art is all new. It was The cabinet was a rotten mess. This was all ruined. If you watched uh, some of our earlier videos, you've just seen how buggered it was. So, the new artwork, and then we of course did the blue powder coating of the ramp and the uh, back plate, the lockdown bar, and the legs. The same dark blue. Beautiful. Like me. We color coordinated the dilithium crystals, so the two purples match up, the two blues. We have it in the test now, so. This is the full color display. Here. Very nice. Uh, we also, the little circuit board that runs the, the rope lights, had, had, the chip actually had a hole blown in it. So we fixed that. That's been fixed. So it's done. Transporter needed a lot of work. Got a good deep base now, courtesy of the other. The volume control's back here. So it has very good sound. We had to make this because it was gone. So the projector screen is here and the fluorescent light shines through and creates this really incredibly great illusion. Really clever. I mean, Data East was really clever on this, guys. Now, the customer had gotten a new rotten dog board. The power supply was a rotten mess, so we switched the power supply with another one, and then we rebuilt these two boards here. Sound board, got new caps, one thing after another. There are a couple plugs that aren't used anymore because of the sound, so our customer doesn't get confused. We marked them not used. There's the new board up top to drive the um, rope lights. So when you start the game, um, the rope lights are moving now. Nobody makes the rope lights yet. So I saw one bulb is still out. Nothing I can do about that. But, uh, missed it. I tried. So the game is running good. It has great sound. I and mean, all that East stuff sounds good. New drop targets on both sides. And of course, new uh, decals too. Uh, we had to make a new ramp. The other ramp was not only rusted, but it was cracked. So this is brand new. The original main ramp is good. We put a new plate here, uh, because the other one was all rusted. But the plate, the uh, board, the giant, the game's pissed off. There we go. The uh, big under undercover um, uh, ramp under underneath was ruined. So we fixed that. It came up good. I'm very happy with how nice it came up. Uh, of 
course, the button's lit, and that carries over to the shooter. Now, uh, since the light's here anyway, it didn't matter here. But the nice thing is, is we were able to... Let's see if I can get it. Nope. Missed. Oh, well. <coughs> I'm not doing too bad, am I? Especially playing with the glass loose. I think he's going to be very happy. Get his baby back. Yeah, I think so. And, oh, we had to all the flash lamps. We had to move the the wire. So you can see all the beautiful light show it puts off. Here's that new ramp I was telling you about. We had to do a lot of switches under Good here. Long. Coil sleeves. We had to take the mechanisms out. They were so rusty. But that's all. That's all been done. Very happy with how it turned out. I really am. I think he will be too. We're gonna end tonight's video by opening up a box we got from Colin Rath in Canada. This just arrived. This, of course, we're in January now. He said to open it up from the bottom so we didn't damage what's on the top. I guess with the razor blade. So we'll see. This is very heavy. The guy spent 50 bucks or more to ship this. Q-tip. I think that was packed by mistake. I hope it's not used. Now look at this here. Oh. Huh. Ah. A jug of Canadian Pure maple syrup. Look, look, uh, Zachary. Look what Colin has sent us. Two. And these are, it's for Linda and, and TNT. He sent it to Now, what's on the bottom bottom? Pure wonder. Oh, it's for me! You think pure wonder's for me? I think that's for my Linda. Ah, oh, look. Aha, look. Special thanks to you. Attention, Todd. I hope this is not sticky. A bottle of maple syrup for your Linda. For you and Linda. A gift for Linda for making the paperwork for me. A great gal till we talk again. About a mechanical. He buys the mechanical. You know that. And uh, thanks, Linda, for what you did last year for me. Going the extra mile with my orders. Making sure about the address number. Living in the country... Like the rural area of PA, I enjoy talking to you about everything. Read the, read the card when you have a sad day or somebody makes you mad. That's every day. That's very nice, Colin. And Linda will get them tomorrow. She doesn't appear on, ca on camera, but I'm sure she'll thank you. Thanks for watching tonight. And you know what? We haven't run the song, Tammy's Barbie song for ages. So let's end with that, and we'll see you more Crazy. videos soon. Good night, Curdy. Woo! I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, and these pink dreams can come true. I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, you know that you are too. I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, the show made my heart sing. It's my own water. Watch it every day, come with me, don't delay, I'm an egg.